Hey everyone, welcome back. Oh boy. One sec. Okay. This is my review of Bleach Manga Chapter 553. Okay, so this week's chapter of Bleach. Now I just want to get this out of the way first. This it's a sub it's a subpart chapter at best, I honestly think, and the main reason for that is because I I was honestly really confused with some of it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe you can clear up my gun. Uh, my con my confusion for me. I don't know, but I was I just felt really confused with some of it. So basically, it's a very simple chapter where we still orientate between soy phones fight, soy phones and fight with BG9 and. Uh, Toshiro's fight with Monao Chengdu. Alright, and. Oh boy. Now. Okay, I think this is really fucking dumb. It's like. In the, at the end of the last chapter, Uehara gave them that pill to get their Bonkai's back, and now it looks like they're gonna completely fucking win already. Now, I do not like this. I do not believe for a second that they're going to win this. Goddammit this easily, alright, because it would, be, it would be really fucking boring if they did, okay, I'm, I'm for the Stern Raiders to be taken out so fucking easily, so I, I don't believe for a second that they're dead yet, and if they are, then really, Kubo, I mean, he said he wanted to be, this arc to be the long Stark yet, this is nowhere near the length of the Aranka arc, Period. Uh uh. It's not even close to half yet. It's still got a ways to go. So yeah, because long because the Iran arc was fucking huge, gigantic. So yeah. But anyways, so basically, uh, there's hollow powers or uh, fra fragments of hollow powers come inside of these um pills was so when Hitsugaya gets his Bankai back um he there's actually fragments of hollow in him so he's actually stronger than before I would imagine. However for some reason this one first thing confused me. If Hitsugaya gets his Hironi gets his Daigura and Hironi Maru back, how is Chain Du able to keep Daigura and Hironi Maru? <sighs> That makes no fucking sense to me, okay. That's no that's the first thing that confused me here, alright. And, and I do think it's kinda neat though that neither of neither of them can attack each other right now because Daigur and Hiro Imaru refuses to attack himself. But it's it's kind of interesting because neither of them can attack right now. But it still doesn't explain why Chengdu still has Daigur and Hiro Imaru to begin with, I don't know, I guess it's maybe just to, uh, artificially prolong his life, by his life, I don't know, but, but, <laughs> but anyways, though, so that's the first part, and the second part's with, with, you know, BG9, and um, the pill shows up by Omida, and, you know, I th at first, when it ha that happened at the end of the last chapter, I was thinking, okay, maybe Omida actually has Bankai, and that's why it appeared near him, because Sorphone, even if she got her Bankai back, would be way too, weak, way too weak to fight. But, then I was like, but he's never released it, as far as we know, to get it, to get it s stolen from him. So, I didn't know. I was lost, so. And he did end up she did end up handing it to Soyphone here, so she gave you her Bankai back, and she released it. Here's the second thing that confused me, though. Oh, well, first of all, you know, why did it teleport near Omida? And thirdly, how in the fuck, in her weakened state, is Soyphone able to release 
Chaco Chaco like Hoban, a huge ass fucking missile launcher, right? I mean, she got all fucked up, like really, all sorts of fucked up. It makes no sense, and it's kind of interesting though that she's actually uh, allowing Omida to help her by, because <laughs> like, she's having him aim or help her aim it. Um, here's fourth thing that confused me. What the fuck was BG not okay? You know. Every reviewer already has made this joke, so I'm just gonna get it out of the way without trying to be funny or anything. BG9, you have some seriously. Like, it's way too easy to make a tentacle joke about BG9. Let's start there, alright? It's way too fucking easy. I mean, anyone could do it. And. The way he was hovering over Soy Phone in this chapter, yeah, let's just leave it at that. So I'm gonna say about it because every reviewer has already made that joke. I think for ex I think except for I don't think King of Lightning did, but I know everyone else did. So I'm just gonna stray away from that right now. Anyways, that pretty much all that happened in this chapter. It was very simplistic, and because of that, and because of those four confusion points of mine, you know, BG9 in this chapter, so much from releasing her bonk in her weakened state, the pill teleporting toward to Omida instead of Soy Phone, and also, you know, um, Tetsu, or the captains getting their Bankai back, right, or at least those two captains, because, you know, it would seem way too fucking easy if it if it's really going to be over this quickly. Oh, and also, you know, like I said before, um, Chengdu may be able to keep Hironimaru even though Hizuga or Daigur and Hironimaru even though Hizugaya has his Daigur and Hironimaru back. It makes no sense and so because of all that, this chapter to me is definitely subpar at best. It, uh, I really hope that it picks up soon. I really hope that these, a lot of these questions are answered in the next chapter. So yeah. But anyways, overall, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.